What's up, Steve here again, aka the Tech 660, and coming at you with this long awaited uh, toolbox tour. I'm going to try to make it uh, quick and simple. I won't go into too much detail, and uh, it's kind of late, so I want to head home. But uh, for you guys, uh, I'm willing to, uh, to stay a little bit longer, so uh, check this out. Um, before I go on to this here, uh, just want to give respect to my Mac Tool cart. Had this since 2003, 2004, and it's been good to me. I need to upgrade, but it's been doing the job. So uh, thank you, uh, Mac Tool cart. And you see, this has a lot of junk. I'm not going to show you that, but down here I got some nuts and bolts and some. Uh, sorry about the background noise. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in myself after watching that video because I forgot one drawer uh, when I was going side to side showing off uh, my drawers and what I had in it but uh, it was all my power tools in it and that was one drawer that I missed so I apologize uh, I'll probably make an updated uh, version uh, when it's a little bit more organized and cleaner uh, I do have more tools that I didn't show because they were all hidden or they were to the side somewhere but uh anyways sorry about that um stay tuned and thanks for watching and you see this has a lot of junk i'm not going to show you that but down here i got some nuts and bolts and some um spare part for testing stuff <laughs> all right uh let's start with this drawer uh, miscellaneous stuff extra keyboard chargers over there I got a power probe uh, wrenches drills drill bits and just some bags for miscellaneous uh, jobs another miscellaneous drawer with some uh, tester parts cotter pin set uh, shims tester spark plugs special nuts and bolts here etc right here is my uh, fluid funnel drawer from WG40 to brake clean my Mac tool uh, syringe and Lysol for our rodent uh, jobs uh, if you've seen my previous videos, I've been I do a lot of uh, cleaning up uh, with rodent damage. Uh, going here, this is my special drawer with uh, clips, uh, sound insulators, etc. Um, special fasteners, plastic fasteners, etc., etc. Some seals. I know I got seals back there. And I, uh, let's finish this bank bank up. I'm not going to go from side to side. Electrical drawer. I got a blue point uh, multimeter in this one here. Mac tool. And then my Mac tool uh, multimeter here. And I've been using this a lot. And then this, this is pretty. I'm not going to say it's advanced compared to my thing here. Uh, stand by. Let me, let me open that up real quick. Alright, my blue point uh, multimeter. And then versus uh, the one that I've been using. Uh, this has more options to use, such as uh, you know testing uh, temperature and and doing RPM tests, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is kind of my go-to tool for now. This one, there's actually nothing wrong with it, but this is pretty basic. I, I usually uh, use this, you know, when I have to test something real quick. So I like this. Anyways, uh, wire blue point wire stripper. My snap-on test light, uh, my rebuilt um, streamlight flashlight, brand new. Except they gave me the existing, uh, the old piece, which is the end cap right here. Okay, my other drawer here. I don't know what you want to call it, but I got an alignment uh, pry bar set, uh, files, punches, uh, vice grips. Etc. Etc. Kind of a miscellaneous uh, 
special tea drawer and got my micrometer uh, measuring tool here leveler uh, mirror feeler gauge rulers some toys I found uh, on you know used cars uh, DVD and CD uh, I call them testers to test uh, DVD and, and CD players uh, my infrared thermometer I got both right here and miscellaneous uh, drawer where I keep all my personal stuff and then this is also my writing table slash uh, eating table sometimes and I got my uh, specially or custom built for me all right uh, here's the top of my workstation tech 660 right there computer that I work on every day for everything uh, can't can't you know work without the computer with you and my electronic RO and my multi-point inspection uh, you know uh, program up and then all data and uh, TIS for Toyota phone uh, sorry it's a mess my chargers right here and my fan all right so what did I miss out Okay, on to this drawer, another specialty drawer, tap and die set, uh, bolt extractor set, stud uh, puller setter, stud removal set. Back here is specialty uh, brake thing. Uh, puller set, uh, steering uh, shaft uh, boot holder for the Priuses, uh, cotter pin slash uh, puller set, seal puller, etc. etc. Um, and then let's go back here. You okay, see, I have my AC AC leak detector kit, uh, thermometer for the vents, another UV light. I, ha I actually have a a UV light here somewhere, like a flashlight. Um, small screwdrivers right here. Uh, Snap-on coolant pressure uh, tester um, kit. Seal puller. Uh, brake uh, caliper depressor kit from Harbor Freight and believe it or not again 2004 uh, and still holding up All right, my screwdriver set right here Snap on screwdrivers uh, Clip tool remover uh, What else picks etc etc Nothing really special. All right, come into this drawer right here. This is actually, um, I don't know, the persuader drawer because it has my pry bars, my, my snap-on pry bars, you know, uh, snap-on torque, uh, torque wrenches, um, break-in tool kit, my interior pry bar set or pry uh, tool kit hammers hammers yeah. long drawer here uh, wrenches 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 And last but not least, uh, my socket drawer collection. Snap on sockets. Um, what else I got here, guys? Snap on axle uh, socket. And my Mac, uh, Mac Wobbly. Here's another flashlight I have. I probably rebuilt this pretty soon. I'm gonna rebuild it pretty soon. I'm, I mean, um, extensions. So I got snap on, snap on uh, Torx uh, bits. Um, Mac tools. Snap on, Craftsman. Love this. And believe it or not, again, 2003, 2004.
when you anyways guys so hope you like my tour uh, of my epic 84 inch toolbox and uh, sorry it was so quick uh, and I just realized I'm running out of uh, memory here but anyways uh, hopefully I'll have a baby uh, updated one where maybe everything is more organized and cleaner but in the meantime this is as good as it gets once again this is tech 660 thanks for watching and stay tuned what's up Steve here again and showing you another project of mine uh, kind of common but uh, here we go so basically working on this 2012 Prius and existing transmission here I know I know what you guys are gonna say this is pretty uh, common but another heavy-duty uh, weekend swapping out the old transmission because of uh, transmission codes and it's grinding and we got uh, the new one here and uh, this is ready to go uh, everybody's gone right now so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically call it a day but yep old transmission over there and new transmission thanks for watching and stay tuned